In this video, I'm going to show you on how to find the value of standard deviation for group data by using Casio FX570EX calculator. Consider the following data. We need to calculate the value of standard deviation. Okay. Now, by using a um, scientific calculator, the first step is we need to find the mid midpoint value. Okay, midpoint is our x value. So, you need to have this uh, x value in your table. Okay, so regarding the steps in your calculator, first you need to reset the setting and the memory on the calculator first. And then press shift button, followed by number 9, and then press number 3 to initialize all. Okay, and then equal, and then press AC button to clear the screen of your calculator. Okay, next, press shift, and then press setup button. Okay, and then press arrow down button. Okay, and then we need to choose number 3 for statistics. Press number 3. Okay, so for this case, since this is a group data with the frequency value, so we need to turn on the frequency. So press number 1 to turn on the frequency. Okay, the next step, press menu button. This is menu button. Okay, and then we need to choose option number 6 for statistics. Right, and then press number one for variable. Okay, now on the screen of our calculator right now, we have two columns, columns for X and also column for frequency. So the next step is we need to key in our X and also frequency values in this calculator. Okay, so uh, I, I want to key in the X value first. Okay, the first X value is 7.5. Okay. And then you need, you need to press equal button to save this data. The next one is 12.5, equal. And then we have 17.5, 22.5, 27.5. And the last one is 32.5. Okay, next, we need to key in the frequency value. Okay, for frequency, the first one is 19. And then we have 16, 10, 3, 1, and the last one is also 1. Okay, now we can press AC button to clear the screen of, your, of our calculator. Okay, next step. Okay, we need to obtain the summation values from the calculator. Okay, as we all know, this is the standard deviation formula of group data. Okay, we need to have the value of summation of f x square summation of f x and also summation of n to obtain the standard deviation value so we need to have these three summation values okay so to obtain the summation values from the calculator press optn button option button and then press number two okay so the first summation value is summation of x Okay, as you can see here, summation of x is 645. Summation of x is actually the same as summation of fx. Okay, total of f multiplied with x and the value is 645. Okay, next one is summation of fx square. Okay, in this calculator, it appears as summation of x square. This one. Summation of x square is 9,962.5. 9, Okay, this is our total of f multiply with x square. Okay, the next value that we need is the value of total f or n. Okay, you can press arrow down button. Okay, and then we have the value of n here. So, n is equal to 50. Alright, okay, the next step, you can plug in these three summation values into the formula of um, standard deviation okay next step we want to obtain the final answer from the calculator okay so to obtain the final answer from the calculator okay 
first you need to clear the screen of the calculator okay and then press option button and then press arrow down button and then press number two for variable okay so we have six options but we need to choose option number five okay for option number five it is sx this x sx is the notation for sample standard deviation so press button five for sample standard deviation okay and then press equal to obtain the value okay so by using this calculator the value of standard deviation is 5.7888 Okay, so this is the final answer for uh, sample standard deviation.